Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we will be discussing Realm 7 of the 2020 Amy 1. The problem reads, a club consisting of 11 men and 12 women needs, needs to choose a committee from among its members so that the number of men on the committee is one more than the number of men on the committee. The committee could have as few as one member or as many as 23 members. Let n be the number of such committees that can be formed. Find the sum of the prime numbers that divide n. So we're going to use casework to solve this problem, and we're going to base it on the amount of men in the committee. So let's first start off with the obvious case of um, zero men. So case one would be no men. So we have an all-woman committee. So how many ways can this occur? So um, there's 11 men, and we want to choose zero men out of those 11 men. So we have 11 choose zero. And since the problem states that the number of women on the committee has to be one more than the number of men on the committee, if there's zero men, that means we have to have one woman. So out of the 12 women, we want to choose one. So it's um, 11 choose zero times 12 choose one. That's for this case. And let's take the second case um, of all men. So there's no woman on the um, committee. So if we want to choose all men, we just get, there's um, a total of 11 men, and then we're going to choose all 11 men, so it's 11 choose 11. And then um, if there's 11 men, again, we need um, the number of women to be one more, so we're going to choose um, all 12. So once we have that, um, we can combine these two cases. So um, we first note that 11 choose 0 um, is equal to 11 choose 11 because they're both equal to 1. So we can, um, so this, um, both these cases um, result into 11 choose 0 times um, 12 choose 1. Let me just add another bracket there. Plus. 12 choose 12. Um, and all I did here was I just, um, since 11 choose 0 is equal to 11 choose 11, I just factored out the um, 11 choose 0 and then it's times 12 choose 1 plus 12 choose 12. And we can simplify this um, because um, this is just 12 choose um, 1 plus 12 choose 0, which is 13 choose 1. So this is 11 choose 0 times 13 choose 1. Now this was just the case where there was no men. But what um, what, if, what if there was like 1 um, men and 10 women? Then um, if you try that, you'd actually get a very similar result. I'm not going to do that here, but if you do that, the same process we did over here, we're going to get um, 11 choose 1 times 13 choose 2. Now we can just add up all the results from our cases. Um, if you notice closely that all the elements in our sum will be divisible by 13. Um, this is because, let's just take the 13 choose 2 for example. Um, 13 choose 2 is 13 times 12 over 2, um, which is 13 times 6, which is obviously divisible by 13. Um, and obviously 13 choose 1 is just 13, and if you do 13 choose 3, you'd still have that 13 over there. Because it doesn't cancel anything because it's prime. Alright, enough talking, let's just get into it. Um, so, we're going to add up all um, our results. So, we have 11 choose 0 times 13 choose 1 plus 11 choose 1 plus 11 choose 1 times 13 choose 2 and then plus 11 choose, choose 2 times 13 choose 3 and so on. Alright, so you can see that, as I mentioned before, we can factor out a 13 out of all of this. Um, so let's just 
look at the first two parts, um, first two elements first. So um, if we factor out a 13, then 11 choose 0 is just 1. And then what would be the, the factor for this? So we have 13 choose 2, which is 13 times 6, and then times 11. So, um, so it would be 6 times 11 times 13. So 6 times 11 is 66. We, um, so that's um, for the first two parts. Um, and then for the other parts, um, we would still have that factor of 13. And then um, if you notice, we'd have um, a 121 in each one because, um, let's see, we would have an 11 um, factor in the 11 choose 2 and then another 11 factor in the 13 choose 3. And also the 11 doesn't cancel um, when we divide because 11 is prime. Um, so we have 13 times 121. And if you just do the computation, you can see that we'll get uh, 10 plus 75. Uh, I'm just reading these off my notes. So 270 plus 504. And if you're confused on how we got this, uh, I'm just going to go over how I got this 10 and then it's pretty much the same for everything else. Alright, so um, what is this? This is going to be 11 times 5. Um, that's the 11 choose 2. And then 13 choose 3. So 13 times 12 times 11 over 6. And these cancel for 2. Alright, so we have 13 times 121. So we have 13 over here. And then the two 11s make a 121. So then um, our factor would be uh, 5, which is still remaining, times this 2 over here, which is 10. So this is how I got my 10 over here. And now we can just evaluate this. So um, um, let's see. So I'm going to bring my computations up here. Let me just draw a line so you don't get confused. OK. So we have um, 13 times 67, and then that's added to um, 13, and then times all of this mess, which is um, 103,939. Let me, 13 times 103, um oh yeah okay so um we want to find uh, the sum of the prime numbers that divide um this number so obviously 13 oh okay, actually let's just um just make the 13 everything so it's 103,939 plus 67 which is 104,006 All right, so now we want to find the prime factors of this um, number. So obviously 13 would be one because it's just 13 times 104,006. So let me just list it over here. So uh, 13. So we want to find the number of prime factors or d prime factors in 104,006. So obviously two would be one because this is this number is obviously even. So we have 13 times 2 times, um, what is this, 52,003. And by um, some inspection, you can see that 7 also divides this number. So we have 13 times 2 times 7 um, times um, 429. I believe yes okay and now this is just um, 17 times 19 times 23 and then obviously the 7 times 2 times 13 alright so now these are all our prime factors so um, 
now you can just add these okay so we have um, let's see 13 15 22 um, 39 40 58 81 and then 81 plus um oh actually I counted the 13 twice okay so it's 15 22 39 um uh I can't do math 58 plus 23 uh 81 yeah so our answer is 81 now I don't know about you but I'm really unsatisfied with the solution all the computation we did over here would take a lot of time in the actual contest and that time could be used to solve many of the other problems in the in the test so there must be a more slick way to do this problem luckily there's something called the Vandermonds identity so let me just clear all of this so um, yes the Vandermonds identity And this identity states that the summation um, of from k equals zero to r um, of m choose k times um, n choose r minus k is equal to m plus n choose r. And if you think about it, this is exactly what we want. Um, as I mentioned um, before in the video, um, we're just going to add all of the cases um, that were to choose the committee. So, um, so for example, I think I had like um, 11 choose 0 for the um, men and then times 12 choose 1. That was the first case. And then the second one was like 11 choose 1 plus 12 choose 2. And this is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to let m equal to 11, n equal to 12, and r equal to um, uh, 11. So plugging these values into our summation, we get um, r is 11, k is still 0 because that's just our like dummy variable. Um, so 11 choose, sorry, let's just write the summation. So m choose k times n choose r minus k. And that's equal to, using these numbers, we have, so 11 choose 0 because k is initially 0. And then times 12, choose um, r minus k, which is 11. And um, yeah. And then the next one would be k would be 1. So it would be 11 choose 1 times 12, choose um, r minus k, which would be 10. and so on. You can see the pattern. So um, obviously we know that 12 choose 11 is just 12 choose 1. So it's 11 choose 0 times 12 choose 1 plus 11 choose 1 times 12 choose 10 which is also just uh, 12 choose 2 12 choose 2 and so on. And you can see that this is, um, why is there, yeah, that's supposed to be so on. So, um, you can see that we get the same sum um, in, um, from the previous thing. And by Vandermont's identity, we know that this is equal to m plus n choose r, which is 11 plus 12, which is 23. Choose r, which is 23, choose 11. Now we can just evaluate this, so this is 23 times 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 uh, times 14 
times 13 all over 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 um, and if you just cancel a bunch of these terms, um, like, so 11 and 2 would cancel with the 22, and then, uh, let's see what else is here, uh, 7 and 21 would get 3, and then, um, like this, um, You see that we get um, you can cancel some more but I'm not going to do it so you get um, 2 2 7 13 17 19 and 23 and this is basically the same thing we got over here so we have our answer of 81 and this is much of a more slick solution um, because we didn't have to do that much computation. We still had to do a bit here, but not as much as that mess that we had in the previous thing. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.